Is Kyrie Irving the most skilled NBA player ever? Kyrie Irving is one of the great players who has graced the game with his beautiful skills and techniques. But is he the most skilled player in NBA history? Let's find out. I used to tell Kai all the time, I said, bro, I know you want to score. Don't worry about passing me the ball. Don't worry about getting me shots. Do what you do. Short enough, he'll go five, six, seven straight. Smith isn't the only player who praises Kyrie for his game and footwork. There's a long list of players and legends like Steph Curry and LeBron James. Kyrie Irving, with his remarkable dribbling skills and grace near the rim, has established himself as one of the NBA's most skilled point guards. Irving is widely regarded as the best ball handler of all time, with a flawless jumper that he can execute in traffic. Irving's finishing around the rim sets him apart since no other guard or forward has pulled off as many creative finishes as Irving. With a lifetime three-point percentage of 39.3%, Irving has no offensive weaknesses. We all know how players like Stephen Curry, Michael Jordan, and Kobe Bryant have all left a lasting impression on the game of basketball with their exceptional abilities. Curry transformed the game with his unrivaled shooting skills, particularly from long range, changing how teams approach attack. His 402 three-pointers in the 2015-16 season demonstrate his significance, while his ball handling abilities and ability to score despite his stature keep him a continuous threat. Jordan, on the other end, largely regarded as the greatest player of all time, combines tremendous quickness with unrivaled scoring ability. With an average of 30.1 points per game, his footwork, mid-range game, and defensive skills set the bar for perfection. Kobe Bryant, who was often compared to Jordan, possessed the same competitive drive and talent level as his master. Bryant was known for his superb footwork and scoring flexibility, and he could score from wherever on the court, including his iconic fadeaway jumper and persistent drive. Kyrie Irving is growing into a player of comparable caliber, noted for his exceptional ball handling abilities and scoring variety. His ability to get past defenses and score in a variety of ways is reminding us of Curry, Bryant, and Jordan. As Irving improves his skills and delivers clutch performances, he is establishing himself as one of the league's best talents, catching up to the superstars who came before him or even he will surpass them. We have a lot of people who can tell how he graces the game. He got the stuff that will embarrass yeah. you, okay. right? Kyrie got that stuff that make you go home and cry to your mama. Yeah. Like fine wine, you know, it's only getting better. He mastering all aspects of basketball. He's even dunking this year. Playing great defense, getting four or five steals in the game. He asked him to do so much and he... Kevin knows how Irving has improved himself. How this man is embracing the court with his footwork and amazing skills around the hoop that bring praise to him. If you haven't seen him play, believe me, you're losing an opportunity. What he did against the Denver Nuggets a few games will definitely make you watch him play. <laughs> Damian Lillard and Jalen Brunson were among the NBA players impressed by Kyrie Irving's game-winning shot with his left hand in the Dallas Mavericks 107-105 victory over the Denver Nuggets. Few players can leave fans and fellow NBA players speechless like Dallas Mavericks guard Kyrie Irving, but his game-winning shot against the Denver Nuggets may have been his best performance yet. With 2.8 seconds remaining in a tied game, Mavs forward Maxi Kleber inbounded the ball to Irving. The explosive guard dashed to the basket, with Nuggets center and two-time MVP Nikola Jokic close on his heels. Irving took the shot with his offhand at the free throw line and Jokic's hand in his face after briefly checking the shot clock. The left-handed floater found nothing but net at the buzzer, exciting a jubilant shout from the American Airlines Center. Irving's teammates' reactions ranged from disbelief with hands on their heads to storming the floor to celebrate his heroics during a 107-105 victory over Denver on St. Patrick's Day. But this isn't the only instance in which he was praised by others. When LeBron James was asked about him, he also couldn't stop praising this basketball wizard. So with Kyrie, what is your favorite thing about Kyrie the basketball player? I, I, listen, I will call Kyrie the wizard all the time. Like, all the time. Like, there was nothing on the basketball floor that Kyrie couldn't do. You heard him. You heard LeBron James praising Irving, saying that there isn't anything on the court that he can't do. Just imagine how much this living legend is impressed with this lad. 
And he doesn't stop here, but goes on to praise him more. I'm playing like so fucking happy and so proud and to watch him and continue his growth and whatever the case may be. And at the same time, I'm so fucking mad at the same time that I am not his running mate anymore. <laughs> so I, I'm like, I just remember those times. And, and to back to what you were saying, JJ, like he, to have a guy like Kyrie Irving as the ultimate wild card, is that, that's like having a, a, a <laughs> It's like having a draw four in your hand every time someone deals you cards in Uno. It feels great when a legend appreciates other players and shows respect to the guy for what he has done. James went on to say, Like every single time, because he has the ability to, like you said, I saw in game one, Western Conference Finals, game one. You know, I think up until that point, I don't know the, the, the stat because I'm not writing down the stats and I don't call the games like you guys, but I think Kyrie was only averaging like eight points in the first half, like in the second round of the playoffs. You know, he was, he was getting his yeah. 16 to 20 in the, in the, in the, in the yeah. second half, but in the first half of games, you know, he it was like six to, It was like six to eight. Yeah, I don't know like the exact number. Points. It was six you to eight, know? yeah. And, and you're like, okay, you know, you know you're gonna have Kyrie in the fourth, but, but I need you sometimes in the first half too, brother. Uh, but like, what he did in game one, it was like, at the at Western Conference Finals, you was like, it, that, was like, oh shit, Dallas may be able to not only win the Western Conference Finals, they might be able to win the whole thing because of that wild card. Getting such praise for being a wild card for your team, not just to win matches, but the tournaments too. But this isn't the end for Irving. A lot is waiting to come out on the field, and when that happens, he will certainly surpass his idols. It's his handles, but it's just the way he moves and how he can play the game. like. He got the most beautiful game ever, like just the way it looked. Damien isn't the only one who praises Irving, but I love how much he respects him and shows gratitude toward Irving. It's because it's not athleticism, it's skill. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yes. he's not a bud of rim hanging in the no. air. It's just no. like, it's craftiness and touch and feel. And, you know what I mean? It's just a knack for doing it. And it's, it's a gift. You know, you can tell he worked on it, but he had the gift to begin with. So, well, he's right about it. Everyone works hard to get the skill and technique to get to the basket every time they shoot. But what Irving has is a gift given to him by the almighty to embrace the game as he always has. The ball handling aspect of what he, you know, what he relies on on the floor to create space, to get by guys, finishing at the rim. It's kind of unpredictable, which is a key, you know, trait for, for great scores playmakers like he is. So. Well, giving praise to someone who is as good as you, keeping the bar high, and having mutual respect, it's what good men do. And Steph Curry is one of them. I mean, I, you know, I remember sitting on the couch at home after Cleveland came back from that 3-1 deficit and beat Golden State. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're watching the game, and you know, we're sitting on the couch, and you know, me and John are there just kind of hanging out. And then my phone rings, and it's, fa it's FaceTime call. And I'm like, I hate FaceTime calls. Like, I don't FaceTime call me, you know, unless it's my family, right? But it's Kyrie. I'm like, all right, let me pick it up. I pick it up, and Kyrie's in the locker room celebrating on FaceTime. Like, dude, it worked. Your <laughs> advice worked. You know what I mean? Like, he's completely freaking out. He's like, hey, Gigi. And Gigi's like, hey, congratulations. He's like, oh, my God. And, like, champagne spilling all over the place. So I was really, really proud of him, but so I'd say Kyrie's probably the one I'm closest to. Again, another legend and the one who Irving admires the most, but everyone loses during a horrible accident with his daughter. Kobe is admired by everyone in the NBA universe, and he is definitely one of the best players to ever grace the court. Kobe also had mutual respect and love for Irving for what he is capable of, and the bond these guys have is something that we all want in our lives. With all these testimonies from such legendary players, we can surely say that Kyrie is one of the most skilled players in the NBA. Well, that's a wrap for now. Thanks for tuning into this as we have presented on the topic of whether Kyrie Irving is the most skilled player. I guess you guys have your answer. As we move forward, we'll keep you updated with the latest videos on similar topics and ensure that you don't miss a thing from the NBA universe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Share your thoughts in the comments section and hit the bell icon to stay notified. Until next time, this is Dot Hoops signing off.